Well, we're back on Levant again, where I've been having some luck lately. The weekend trips to uh, Crockett and Coffin uh, didn't go as hoped. Skunked on both lakes. Uh, it's the first time I've ever skunked on Crockett. So, man, the fish were in a weird way. The only thing they were biting for anybody on that lake was this one dude that was catching them on jigs. And I didn't bring a jig because I didn't figure they'd be in that pattern yet. But apparently that shad spawn was several weeks earlier than, uh, than anticipated. So they were already in summer patterns. So that was rough, but see if we can do any better today. Would you look at that? I had just given up on that and this stupid little drum hit it at the boat. I wasn't really even serious about wanting to catch a, ki a fish that, ca that cast. I was just kind of randomly chucking one as I was going to the spot that I like on the other side of this bridge. Well, skunk free is the way to be, I guess. But let's go get a bass. Boy, that fish hit weird. Well, I did get a bass, if you call it that. He scooped that right up off the rocks, and he was so light when he started fighting. Oh, man. Oh, this is going to be bad. He was so light when he started fighting that I thought I was still dragging rock. You know what? I think I actually foul hooked him. Yup. Actually, that first hook might be in. Oh man, I need a new multi-tool. I don't want to. This is my grandfather's. eight incher yeah this is my grandfather's Leatherman but the players won't work anymore because I don't know they become slightly rusted or this is just loose but that happens is as huge it's got to be a drum the way it's running could be a cat find out shortly drum Nope, cat, blue cat. <laughs> blue cat on a crank, right under the bridge. Kind of a heavy blue cat. That was fun. Oh, you're gonna rip me up, boy. Nice cat. Oh, man. One small little head shake and those razors just ripped me apart. Man, I have never had to reel up line that fast to keep up with the fish as I did with that one. I don't know if you can see 
how much slack that thing knocked into my line. But good grief, he came just screaming at me. This Evergreen CR4 crankbait. I don't even know if they make this CR4 version anymore because I was looking for it on Google. And there were some image results, but I couldn't find any sale results, so I'm not sure if they still make this model. If they do, once this one finally dies off, I might have to get another one. But I think they're kind of expensive. I think they're like 10 or 15 bucks for a little square bill. But hey, if it catches this much fish, I don't know. Might be worth it. Oh, no. Oh, I hope that's not the end of my CR4. One bad cast trying to split the uprights. Let's see if I did any damage. The retrieve still feels good. Nope. The only scratch on it is from the hooks. I don't see any cracks. This thing is built like a tank. It's got some weight to it. And the plastic feels real nice and thick. It is a sturdy crankbait. Obviously I have no sponsors. I don't have any subs so I couldn't get a sponsor. But uh, if I were to have one, I wouldn't mind uh, Evergreen sponsoring me. Sandy. Are we at four species on the day? Yeah, we're at four species. Still got time for a crappie. Whew. Nice Sandy. Foot long Sandy. There's a school of Sandys up here. They're chasing Shad. Oh, it looks like I might have seen a carp too. Yep, there's a carp. It's a grass carp. Channel cat. Species number five. Both cats I have foul hooked. Ooh. Hey, settle, settle. Hey, hey, come on. It's going to be all cats and drums, but it's going to be a fun day. Another drum. Three pound drum, two and a half, three. There's something you don't see every day, a snapper on a jug. Caught someone else's line. Hate them, that happens. Can't really blame them. Sometimes those things happen. You break off, you can't get it out. I got it out for you. Mm -hmm.